guys? Jay Pops in the house coming at you with another unboxing video. I got three boxes here. Hot Topic and GameStop. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, anything that I don't put like on YouTube, like pop hunts and all that, I put it on my Instagram because sometimes I literally just run into a store, not run literally, but like I walk into a store to see if they got something I'm looking for, just one thing, I grab it and it's just, you know, not enough footage for a YouTube video. So my Hot Topic posted that they restocked on Thanos with Throne and I went to go get it. It had like three there. This is a really cool pop. The box is already in, in the closet, but this is a dope pop. It's like a statue. This doesn't even remind me of something like, like a pop or something Funko would make. And this backing here, the throne, it's actually really, really cool. Everything is like really well made. It is really detailed. This is pretty cool. Look at the stuff even to make his chair like float. I believe that's what that is. And then of course he's got the bauble. All Marvel pops and he's got the stand down here. This is a really detailed pop. I'm glad I picked it up. I didn't pick it up the first time around. They had just pretty much just sold out and uh, I couldn't get it. So second time around, I was actually able to get it. Then I went into Barnes and Noble to look for Mr. Rogers. That's the only pop that I want out of the Mr. Rogers line. And I do like the comment too, but they didn't have it yet. So I found Winnie the Pooh Dorbs, the flocked one, the exclusive one to Barnes and Noble. I like these when they first announced that they were coming out. Eeyore I think has a chase, Tigger is flocked and he's exclusive to Hot Topic. But let's open this up because the flocking actually does look really cool. This is my first Dorbs. Dorb, I guess you would say. Not Dorbs. But um, I did actually have Deadpool the Duck, but I returned it because I just didn't like it. This is super cool. Look at the flocking on this. That looks better than most pops. That's really, really good. Like, Winnie the Pooh would look like he makes a good Dorb. I would love to keep this out of the box and just display it. I don't think nothing should happen to the flocking, but that is a really cool door. Yeah, I like this. I'm glad I picked this up. I'm going to try to get the um, Tigger now. Anyway, now, those are the couple things that I got, and they're already out of the boxes. Um, but here's a box from Funko. It literally says Funko on the box. So I opened it because I had no idea. Like, I didn't order anything from Funko other than, like, the last week or, yeah, last week it was Toucan Sam. And I wasn't expecting anything else, so I opened it. It's actually from Walmart. I ordered something from Walmart. I'll show you what it is. Bam. But it was coming from Funko. Walmart does like the, uh, the third party sellers and all on there. So I guess Funko's on there and it literally shipped from Funko. But I totally forgot that I had ordered this. I got the in stock alert in my email from Walmart that these guys socked up again on Cuphead, the Walmart exclusive. So I was really, I was really glad I got this. Here's the back of the box. You get regular Cuphead, Mugman, a couple of the other ones. I got Cuphead, regular Cuphead, because I didn't think I was going to get this one. This is the one that I had really wanted, and I was going to pass on the common, but I didn't think I would ever get this, to be quite honest. Um, but let's take this out, see what he looks like. I honestly, I think, yeah, I had already opened this, so I know what he looks like, but let's show you guys. You know what's really cool? I didn't notice this. Well, I don't know if these are on the other boxes, like the commons. But there's a picture of Mugman and Cuphead right there on the inside flap. Kind of reminds me of like when the Rick and Morty pops were coming. There was like something written on the inside flap. But you actually have a picture of uh, Mugman and Cuphead. So Mugman, uh, Mugman, Cuphead comes with a little stand. Let me see if I can get... Oh, yes, this pop is really, really neat. Look at that. He's got like the milk spilling out of his head. He's dancing, kind of doing like a little happy dance. Got his smile. You could actually even hold Cuphead here, actually, with the little hands on it. Such a cool pop. And his straw is like angled. Bugman's is like straight up. It's like smaller. This is pretty cool. Get my hands out the way. Glad I picked it up. Mugman from the first box that I opened. What? Next up, I got another pop. This was the last pop that I was waiting for. And it's from Hot Topic. They didn't put it in a box. Um, but I think there's actually a, um, I think it came in a sorter. It feels like a box. All right, bear with me. This is the last one that I needed for the collection, The Incredibles 2, Underminer. A lot of people like this pop. They say it's detailed. I haven't seen this out of the box, so let's find out what he looks like. First off, that's the box. There it is. Front, side, the artwork. All the Incredible 2 boxes, the color is awesome. The red that they gave it, really good. Reminds me of like, you know, the movie and 
just, I think it's cool. Ooh, already open, cool. Well, not already open, but easy open. He's very heavy. Oh, snap. He has like a, like a hand, like a wrench for a hand? Or, yeah, or something. Does he work like underground or something? That reminds me of like the, uh, the coal diggers and stuff. But I don't know too much about this guy. I'm assuming he's going to be a bad guy in The Incredibles 2. Him and Scream Slaver. Like the two main villains. This is a really cool pop. Pretty, it is pretty detailed. And it does have some weight to it. He's got like his little cape. That's a really cool pop. So glad I got it. And that's the last one I needed for The Incredibles 2 for all the commons. Um, I did pre-order Jack Jack from FYE. And hopefully I can get the Target one. And um... Funko Shop one. That sh I, hope, I hope it's easy to get. It should be easy to get. I just know a lot of people are going to get it or looking forward to getting it. So hopefully they take care of the Funko Shop. Which, it, I mean, it seems like they have the last couple times. So last box we have is a big box here. Oh my goodness. And it's from GameStop. I ordered this as soon as it went live. Let me find a safe place for this knife. And then I saw that my local GameStop actually got it in like a couple days later. Well, it was like when it when the ship, my local GameStop had this in stock. Wow, it's a lot of packaging. Okay. Oh, and it comes in kind of like a little sorter. Let's get this out the way. It came in this sorter, and we can kind of not slide it. Nope. Oh, okay. That takes care of that. Oh, you just pop up the little things here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I have a same sort of like this, and then you just pop that side and pop that side. Pretty neat. Now we can just slide this out. Bam! Hulk busting out of Hulk Buster. That is super cool. Oh my goodness. GameStop exclusive. Sticker right here on the bottom. This is just like the the no, it's not. It's a different kind of box. Artwork on the side, and then. The back of the box, you know, the Avengers Infinity War line. So let's open this up. Number 306. This has tape on the top. So let me cut the tape. Oh, and it got the Avengers Infinity War gold card that I love so much. Here we go. Cool, and it's got the little four tabs here to keep it in place. No tape, right? No tape. There he is, guys. Hulk Buster. Well, Hulk Buster, not the Hulk Buster. Wow, this is heavy, just like, as, does it weigh as much as the um, regular Hulk Buster? I'm not going to even try to get that up. But I feel like it's heavier for some reason. That's really cool. It's head bobbles. And you got his body right here. Can you guys see that? It's coming out of the Hulk Buster there. This is such a sick pop. This doesn't even look like a pop. Like The Hulk Buster doesn't look like a, like a pop. But, but I mean, now that he's got the pop eyes, that you actually see Hulk. So... It gives it the pop look. That's sick. Imagine if this had like some articulation to the leg. That would be crazy. But it wouldn't be a pop if it did. And then if you guys can see that there, there's the actual Hulk Buster suit. Kind of like it's just falling off his back and he's busting out of the Hulk Buster. That's pretty cool. It would have been awesome if you could remove him and he'd be like, uh, kind of like that Overwatch pop. But. Wow, super glad that I got this one. I don't know if I'm gonna display him up there or maybe display him somewhere else with Thanos or something. I'm gonna have to have like a little section for the Marvel characters. But anyway guys, those are the pops that I got from my little mini online haul and a couple things that I got in store. Um, so, J-Pop signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>